North Swath Dad Pub. Coming up next, a brand new show exclusive to BBC Wales, exploring our incredible planet and the wonderful living creatures that inhabit it. For many of thousands of years ago, our planet has been in inhabited by the most diverse, wonderful creature. And in our new program, we will explore some of the most strangest creatures our planet holds. We will delve into a different locations, discovering how these strange creatures are designed, perfectly designed for their habitats. Our first creature can be found in the forests of Madagascar, an island nation far off the coast of Africa. Crouching on a tree branch, a hairy mammal that looks like a cross between a man, a raccoon, and a rat lifts a long finger on a tree trunk. It's not politely to see who so. Instead, it's lo located hollow spots beneath the bark where insects live. When it locates the hollow spot, it will rip it up with its teeth and gobble up the insects. This curious creature is known as an eye eye. The animal's fingers aren't the only funny feature that helps it survive in the wild. Big yellow eyes as it see in the dark, giant sensitive ears help the animal detect its prey, and a long bushy tail allows the eye eye to balance as it scampers along tree branches. Our next visit is to the fennec fox, sometimes called desert foxes because they live in desert zones of North Africa and the Sinai and Arabian peninsulas. Phoenix foxes are nocturnal and aware of the daytime heat of the desert environment. Their bell like ears radiated body heat keep, helps keep foxes cool. They also have long, thick, soft fur coat with a wally endocone that insulates them from the cold nights during the cold nights and protects them from the hot sun during the day. Nocturnal like animals are active at night. They often have large eyes di which dilate, allow them more light in the darkness. But animals which are active in the day are diurnal. Our next curious creature comes in a range of bright colours, yellows, oranges, red, greens, blues. Poison dart frogs aren't just big show-offs, however. These colourful designs are perfectly designed to tell potential predators, I'm toxic, don't eat me. It's perfectly adapted to catching its unsuspected prey, shooting out a long sticky tongue to catch it. In a, in a food chain, there are different roles and positions predators are adapting to consuming their prey. Prey have adaptations to detect a bit like being eaten by predators. It should be clear how this next feature got its name. This snow white, the snowy owl is perfectly adapted to camouflage in the snowy white tundras of North America and the Arctic. Snowy owls generally cruise low to the ground. Once they spot their prey, these graceful creatures approach it from the air and snatch it up using their large, sharp talons or claws on their feet. Snowy owls have excellent eyesight, but they obviously can't see its prey when it's underneath snow or thick layers of plants. To capture those meals, the owl relies on its other keen sense hearing. Both predators and prey use camouflage. Some examples can be shown here. Or maybe not. Pause the video and see if you can spot the well camouflage creatures perfectly adapted to hide in their habitats. Located in oceans and seas across the globe, the giant squid is the most mysterious invertebrate. 
These mysterious AM creatures are rarely seen by humans. Most of what we know about them comes from finding them washed up on beaches. Giant squid have beach ball size eyes. Their eyes are the largest eyes in the animal kingdom and are about, and, and are about 25 centimeters in diameter. Their eyes, their colossal eyes help them spot objects in the dark depths where most of the animals would see nothing. Like other squid species, they have eight arms and two whip-like tentacles that help them bring food to their beak-like mouths. Invertebrates are animals without spines, while vertebrates like humans and other mammals have a spine. Can you think of some examples? There are many invertebrates. They range in size from microscopic mites to almost invisible flies, to giant squid with beautiful size eyes. Invertebrates are by far the largest group in the animal kingdom. 97% of all animals are invertebrates. So far, 1.25 million species have been discovered, most of which are insects, but it is estimated that there are millions more to be discovered. A regular hunt lizard looks uncommon as a hungry coyote comes near. All of a sudden, splat! The crafty lizard has shot a stream of blood from its eyes at a coyote. Believe it or not, this reptile can shoot the gory goo three feet or more, and that's just one of his clever tricks. These reptiles are brilliant when you see. They can change colour to blend in with almost anything in the desert home in Arizona, in the United States and Western Mexico. If that doesn't work, the lizard will suck in air to inflate like a balloon, then they seem too big to gobble well up. But nothing compares to squirt in blood on command. As last result, the reptile are able to burst the blood vessel near the eyeballs to trigger a surprise spray. They aim the blood towards the predator's mouth. It's the bad taste that sends enemies running. Talk about an eye popping surprise. Living things are adapted to the habitats. This means that they have special features to help them survive. It's not just animals that are adapted to the environment, it's plants too. A cactus is well adapted to survive in the desert. It has long roots to collect water in a large area and stems to store water for a long period of time. The animals and plants in one habitat are suited to live there and may not be able to survive in other habitats. When a habitat changes, the animals and plants that live there are affected. This is why it's so vital to look at the environment and habitat to share our wonderful planet with us. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Celebrate the morning time together, new day, there's a big delay.
Well, what an incredible world we live in. Tune in next week to find out more about animals and amazing adaptations. Come up next to Chris Show. Good morning and welcome to today's quiz show. Ask your teachers to pause the video after each question and add up your points at the end. Each point equals a class dojo. Question one, what is an invertebrate? Question two, which sense does the Snovia rely upon to hunt in the snow? Question three, finish this sentence. Prey is hunted by its Question 4. Animals acted at night are called? Question 5. What percentages of all animals are in this bridge? Let's reveal the answers. Question 1. An invertebrate is an animal without a spine. Question 2. The story relies on its hearing to hunt in the snow. Question 3. A prey is hunted by its predator. Question 4. Animals acted at night are called nocturnal. Question 5. 97% of all animals are invertebrates. Thank you for tuning in today. Send us your scores. Can't wait to hear how you got on. Dioko va a dod i guasa 96 bw. Thank you all for coming to our class assembly.